Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today's look, oh y'all, I promise I'm not Nikki. I promise, I promise, I promise. Nine times out of ten when y'all see me like this, I have on a tube top because I can't figure out what color to wear in this video. But anyway, today's look was inspired by Keisha Arie. I really hope I'm saying your name right. If I'm not, I'm so sorry. But I'll put a picture of her look over here on the screen. But yeah, if you want to see me recreate this look, then make sure you guys keep watching. Okay, y'all, so we're starting off with... So I'm starting off with my LA Girl Concealer, and this one is in the shade Medium Beige. If you guys want to, you can prime your eyelid. For some reason, when I use the, um, the eyeshadow primer, it makes it harder for me to blend my colors, so I just don't use it. So the goal is to get two videos recorded today because I don't have as much free time anymore as I used to have. So now I'm stuck with only one day to record. For some reason, I forgot to show y'all the color, but I'm taking this orange right here from the Take Me Back to Brazil palette. Okay, so my next color is this yellow up here, and I'm using the M506. So I'm going to cut my crease using the same concealer from earlier, which is the other girl concealer in medium beige. That's the part that always scares me, it's trying to wing it out. And this brush is an M213, if you're wondering. So I'm pretty sure you guys have seen people go through and clean off their eyelid with a Q-tip or a makeup remover wipe just so the colors won't mix. But I'm just going to go straight into this yellow and put that in the inner corner of my eyelid. And for the middle of my eyelid, I'm taking this green right here. You know, I'm going to bring the yellow around a little bit further. Yeah, I was not recording. Did y'all even see the color that I showed? Okay, so this is the color I'm using right here. I'm mad. Like, I don't even think I just got any of that on camera. I'm actually really proud of myself with this look because I rarely do these cut creases. And I feel like this one turned out really good. I'm going to be having to pray before I start recording because if I don't, I promise you my look will not be cute. I'm going to take a makeup over wipe and clean up. I'm going to take my duo lash glue on an angled brush and basically trace out my crease with it. And I'm going to go on top of that with this um, pigment. Ooh, this glitter pigment from Almost Cosmetics. And it's in the shade Dynamite. And I'm going to work in sections too. Because this stuff dries really quick.
if you need to you can take um a brush like this and dust away texture glitter but of course you don't want to do it too hard you don't want to disturb the colors that you put down So to put on my lashes, I still use the dual lash glue. And this stuff dries pretty quick, but I just let it sit for a few seconds or I blow it. Y'all should definitely add me on Snap. Those of y'all that already got me on Snap, y'all know we be having conversations like we've been on each other for years. But that's where I be at most of the time anyway. I be on Twitter, but I don't be tweeting. I just be really tweeting stuff half the time. And I post on Instagram. I need to be more consistent on there. Yeah, y'all add me on Snap. I'm gonna put it on the screen. And I'll add y'all back and keep you friends. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do my foundation on camera, but let me show y'all. I know they were like all the way over there, but this one in the middle is the Maybelline Fit Me. And it's just like 330. It's the one I usually use, but lately I feel like it's been making me look a little gray. It's poking me slap cars. Okay, but yeah, I feel like this one has been um, coming off as a little gray on me. This one is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting. Sometimes I feel like it makes me look orange. It's supposed to oxidize, and it usually does, but sometimes on camera I feel like I still look a little orange. But then this one down here is from Black Radiance, and honestly just looking at it, it does look like it's way too dark. But I used it yesterday, and it turned out looking okay. So I'm not really sure. I want to use the Clinique one. But uh, I don't want to look orange. Okay, uh, anyway, I'm going to moisturize with the Puns Face Moisturizer or Face Cream. It's the one for dry skin. Uh, my skin is combination. Okay, and I'm going to use Prime with my NYX Photo Oven Primer. This stuff, it keeps me mad throughout the day. Okay, so before moving to the foundation, I'm going to take my, y'all, I just turn red, like, so fast, literally everywhere. I could, like, put my hand here, and then I have a whole handprint right there. So, um, I'm going to take my air sun powder and translucent and set my primer um, and my smile line. I think I'm going to mix the two. So, I'm going to mix um, this foundation from Black Radiance in the shade Caramel, and then I'm going to mix it with, um... My Clinique Beyond Perfecting and 23 Ginger. Like underneath my eyes, I'm gonna take uh, my LA Girl concealer and cool tan. So I'm going to set with a mixture of um, Sasha Buttercup and um, the Airspin Powder. So to contour my face, I'm going to use this bronzer from Black Radiance in the shade Warm Hazelnut. I don't know why when I, um, when I do my face, it does not draw matte right here. Like, what does that mean? It does that in the same spot on both sides. Okay, now I'm going to take my Makeup Revolution Concealer in the shade C11 and carve out um, underneath my contour. I 
Okay, and I'm gonna take the same Sasha um, Buttercup powder. I look okay when my lines don't turn out right. And this one all up and down here. Um, I usually don't contour my nose, but um, let me show you how I would. So I take this brush, it's angled. This is from e.l.f. I've had it for years. And um, I'm gonna take the same powder that I contour with. And I did this very lightly because I um, lucky don't even know how to contour my nose. But I don't really see a need to, but usually I should like go in right there instead of like bringing it down here. Oh, that's kind of cute. Okay, so next is highlight. I'm going to use the same um, pigment. So I'm going to take this. Um, I got this brush out of a Forever 21 palette a long time ago before I even started my channel. Um, probably about five years ago. But it's like half eyeshadow brush, half like eyeliner. But I'm going to take it and dip it. In here and just be extra and put some on my nose. Mm -mm. I mean, yeah, it would have to look like that because that was just too much. Okay, yeah, I actually don't look orange. That's what I was saying. Like usually when I go in and um contour, everything is evened out. So for underneath my eyes, I think I'm gonna take yellow and orange, the same as I used on my like, lid. So I'm gonna take a pencil brush and pick up the orange first and smudge that out and then go right up under that with the yellow. I like my color to just be out like in the outer corner. I don't like bringing it all the way in. I just don't like that on me. I'm sorry y'all, don't be having my facial expression. I'm gonna take my next um, jumbo pencil in milk. I wanna take the yellow on the M432 and pack that on top of the white. I'm gonna take some more of dynamite. But like this stuff, it doesn't pop like I need it to. So I'm gonna go into my Princess Aztecca palette and pick up this shade right here. I'm gonna put that down first and then I'm gonna go on top of that with dynamite because this, something about this just, it just pops more than this to me okay y'all never mind i lied so let me um put on some mascara Okay, so I'm gonna use brown. It's just called brown by NYX. Tap a little bit of this Cape Town soft matte cream from NYX in the middle. I guess it kind of is the color I was going for, but I'm gonna top it off with some lip gloss. I'm gonna set my face with my NYX matte setting spray. Alright, you guys, so we are done with this look. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed to my channel for more looks. And I will see you guys in my next video.